Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Last week I did a Halloween shop with me at Target and I thought I'd share with you some of the stuff I picked up. If you like these videos, make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and let's get on with the haul. The first thing I picked up is this little skull pan. It has six little individual spaces with little skull heads. So it says a cakelet pan, but you can use this as molds, I think for any kind of treats you wanna do. I know these Nordic wear pans are usually a lot more expensive. They're like in the 30s range, usually when I see them for Christmas and stuff. So I thought for $9.99, this was a really good deal and we'll make little fun Halloween treats with it. The next thing I picked up is the Pillsbury Funfetti chocolate cake mix with colored bits. So I've seen this with the white cake before, but I've never seen it with chocolate. And I thought this would be cool to use in the skull pans. So I'm going to put this in there and I think dip it in white chocolate and hopefully you'll still be able to see the skull faces. So it says you need water, oil, and three eggs. And there is like substitute, but this just looked really different. And I know Lily wanted to try it. The next thing I picked up is this four cup Pyrex. It has little ghosts dressed up for Halloween. And this is the four cup size. I know they have one bigger one and then one smaller one. And I think this size might have one other print. But I thought this one was so cute. And I thought it would be fun to put like our leftovers in or if we make anything. So I wanted to get that. The next thing I picked up are these Halloween sprinkles. I thought the pearlescent ones in here were so pretty and they have little ghosts, little tombstones. So lots of cute little things in there. I was thinking these are good to have if you get like white cupcakes and then just throw these on the top and I think it would look so good even if you made the cupcakes yourself and put them on. They really look professional and really cute. I think this bottle was $3.99. I didn't show the costume aisle in the shop with me, but Lily did get her costume. So the first one was this Jojo. It's like the jumpsuit. So that's what it looks like on the packaging. And then I saw online that like it had bad reviews because of the, I guess the materials used. And it's definitely not the same costume as what she's wearing. I mean, the, the, colors are the same but the fabric and the rhinestones are definitely not so the the costume is $25 and I think for what it is now this Lily's been using this one that's why I got her two so one to play in and then one to dress up in but that's what the fabric looks like I think for $25 it's pretty a pretty standard so I'm not really sure why it has such bad reviews. I, I, I'm guessing they thought it was gonna be this, you know, blinged out beaded costume, but it's just really just shimmery fabric and then some sequins and the trim. But honestly, I think it's really cute. So it has this piece and then it has a little collar that goes around. And then I do wanna point out medium eight to 10 on the sizing. But then right underneath it says for five to seven years and Lily's in size five clothes. So I'm definitely glad I got the size medium and I didn't get the small because it probably would have been a little too tight for her. Next, the costume she's gonna wear on Halloween is this Jojo. She loves Jojo, so she wasn't gonna be anything else. Then they both come with these big bows and it has a little comb on the back. But I think the same, it might have the same reviews, like one or two stores because it's not the exact thing. And you can't really find anywhere online where you'll see the exact costume, but that's just what it looks like. I think for the money, it's $25. It's pretty, you know, standard on what you get. And it is a Ruby's costume. So if you know Ruby's costumes, they're not the best quality, but it's pretty much what all the kids are wearing. So that is that. I got this tea. It says drink up witches. I don't really drink, but I thought it was really cute. It was $8. 
and it's by the brand Grace and Thread. So they make pretty good tees. And I just got my normal size medium. It's just like a nice, relaxed, easy t-shirt to throw on, you know, to be a little festive for the holiday. And then I also picked up these little candy corn earrings. They're $6. I don't really like candy corn, but I love candy corn decorated stuff. I just think they're so cute. They had a baby, like, sleeper and the candy corn if i knew someone having a baby or if i had a baby i would definitely buy that i thought it was so cute but since i don't i bought the little candy corn earrings and then to go with it i got this tea it was in the kids section i got the extra large so i do have a 13 almost 14 year old and I got it for both of us to share, but I know she's not going to want to wear it. So I asked her if she wanted it, and she said no. So I'll probably wind up just wearing it. So it just has little candies, pumpkins, treats, in the shape of a heart. And I thought the candy corn earrings would look really cute with that because it has little candy corn in it. And these teas were five, but they're normally six. So a dollar more than that. And then for my nine-year-old or she's 10 now she turned 10 last week i got her the same tea so we'll probably wear them this weekend and then i also got lily my four-year-old the same tea so i thought those were really cute the last thing i picked up is the mrs myers apple cider scent because i couldn't find the pumpkin i usually buy the pumpkin but i wanted to try something else anyway and i've never purchased the apple cider so this smells exactly like apples i love their things and this is a limited edition so if you like mrs myers and you want your full scents go pick them up now because they don't have them for too much longer that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it and don't forget to subscribe. Bye.